My name is Sebastian Schroeder. I'm a senior research associate here at ITRI. Um, I work with uh, transportation problems, traffic problems, uh, including roundabouts, freeway analysis, a lot of uh, pedestrian issues, and so I work in analyzing and understanding what traffic does on, on our roadways. A roundabout is a new, a relatively modern form of intersection um, that really at the heart of it slows traffic down. Um, and by slowing traffic down, it makes the operations a lot safer because it avoids uh, high-speed collisions that could happen at a signalized intersection when a driver runs through a red light, for example. Principally, it's, it's a circle, and really the, the key is that it's a very a relatively small circle. So we don't want very large diameter circles. We want relatively small ones in an urban area about uh, 100 feet uh, diameter. Uh, for bigger roundabouts, maybe 150, 160 feet. But we don't want uh, uh, the old traffic circle design that we had um, uh, maybe 50, 60 years ago where the diameter would be 500 or 600 feet uh, because those really high diameters result in very fast uh, vehicle speeds traveling around the circle and then make it more dangerous. So we use math because we have uh, equations and relationships that tell us um, how the radius of a curve is related to a design speed. And, and a driver in their, in their car, they will naturally slow down to maneuver a curve safely. Uh, most drivers have enough experience to do that. And so uh, it's really a combination of physics and then and math equations to calculate how fast vehicles go in certain curves and then really designing the curve of entering into a roundabout at a speed that is slow enough, about 15 uh, miles an hour, as opposed to a curve that would allow somebody to travel 30 or 35 miles an hour. You want to make the roundabout small enough to avoid really high speeds, but you also can't make it too tight because we have some vehicles that are very large. Uh, for example, we have a lot of buses at the university in the city of Raleigh, and we also have some uh, trucks that need to be able to navigate the circle. So. The, the design of the circle balances both of those aspects. Uh, we want it small enough to encourage slow speeds, but large enough to make sure our, what we call design vehicles, can move across. I find my job interesting because it, it deals with real world examples. Uh, every one of us uh, spends a lot of time in traffic, uh, either with our parents or when we're old enough to drive ourselves. And we interact with traffic systems on a daily basis and we don't want to be stuck in traffic, we don't want to be stuck at lights, or, uh, and we definitely don't want any accidents. And so really it's a very, uh, very real job. It makes uh, the, the things that we do have a direct impact on almost everybody in our community. Um, and it's also a very diverse and ever-changing job because we sometimes work with signals, sometimes with roundabouts, with freeways, uh, sometimes with pedestrians. And really all those systems are a little bit different.